What's up guys? So today in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use functions that operate between tables or formulas in Airtable that go between tables and use data from one table and another table and however you want to use these functions it's going to be up to you but I'm going to show you two ways to do it and it's all going to be interconnected but it's going to be with rollups and with actual formulas. So if you haven't met me yet my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you help them set up systems in Asana, Slack, Airtable, Toggle, and many other systems. So if you're curious about that, click the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team through the Calendly embed link. And also hit subscribe and hit the post notifications so you can get more videos just like this one. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so first I wanna explain the layout of this database because that's going to be important in order to understand how these functions are gonna to work together. So our first thing that we want to look at is this opportunities table and this opportunity. So this is first a sales CRM database and these are opportunities for a specific account. And so to keep in mind, one account can have multiple opportunities below it. So the first formula between tables that we want to do is we want to summarize the amount of each opportunity per client. So if bear Paw solutions has 10 opportunities open, and they're each worth $10,000, then you should have a $100,000 account value in the accounts table. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then furthermore, I'm gonna be showing you in the contacts how we can set up a function that'll tell us the priority of that contact based on this estimated value, based on the account value, which is based on the opportunity value. So to do that, I'm gonna first, you're gonna be setting this up in the accounts table because this is a one-to-many relationship here between accounts and opportunities, and we want to be summarizing that many data. So to start off, we're gonna insert a column to the right here, and you're just gonna look up roll up. And you could technically like use a use this opportunities linked record and then have a lookup field to pull in all of the account values, but it's much easier to just use this roll up. You can do it in one field and it's very easy to use. So first you're going to choose the field in this table. And so that's going to be the opportunities linked record there. And then the next one that you're going to choose is you're going to choose the field that you'd like to roll up. So the field that I would like to roll up is this estimated value, because as a reminder, we want to add up all of the estimated values of each opportunity in the other opportunities table. And you can also include linked records. So like say the opportunity has to be open, or you could say that the opportunity can't be closed. So you could set that up and you could add those filters here and you can add, I don't know exactly how many filters you can add, probably three or infinity, I'm not sure. So we're gonna leave that off, but you can do that if you want to, if you want to filter that those records down. And then here, keep in mind, we just wanna add all of these up so we can get a total amount value. So this is where the function comes in and it's called a roll up function. And we can just type in some values and it'll already pulls this up here. And if you just wanna click on that, that's perfect. So that's all you need. So this is gonna add up the values in this linked record, pulling from the opportunities table and now bringing it into the accounts table. So if you go ahead and click create record, you'll get the sum there. Actually you can say account value. So that is a roll up of all of the different open opportunity, or all of the opportunities that could be closed, that could be not closed, etc. We didn't add those filters in this one, but this is what you have right here. And you have each account value in here. So another thing to notice is you have contacts here. So now we're gonna be taking this data, which is rolled up from the opportunities table, and we're gonna be bringing it into this contacts table. So the contacts table, this each, each contact only has one account, but each account can have, you can see like some in here, there'll be like two contacts per account. And that doesn't really matter as much, but it does matter that the contacts only have one. So if we insert a field to the right here and we do a lookup function, because we're gonna do a little bit more of a in-depth one with this. So for this lookup, we're gonna be looking up from the account table, and we're gonna be looking up the account value, which is also a roll up from that other field. So we're gonna say, this is the value. So that's the account value. So now 
this is where we're going to do that function, and that's how you do this the function that looks up and uses data from other tables is you have to use something like a lookup or a rollup. And so now that we have the data from the other table, from that accounts table in this table, now we can do formulas based on the data that's in this table, which is actually data that's pulled from other tables. It's kind of round and round my head spins here, but we can do it nonetheless. So now if I insert one to the right here, we'll say formula. And so now we're gonna associate some weights to this account value, kind of like weights, but like we're gonna say like if this account value, and actually I want to cancel out of this and I wanna find, we're just gonna say the average. So we'll insert right here and we'll type in that formula and we'll say if, so now we're gonna play off of this dynamic data here from the other table and we're gonna say account value. So account val, if that is greater than 28737, then we're gonna say high. And if it's false, we're gonna say low. So we'll see if that works out. So that looks like it did. Um, so now we can see that if the account value, so if it's greater than 28737, it should be high, which you can see that's the case for that one. And if it's lower than that value, then it's gonna be low. So we can find another one there, that one should definitely be low. And all of these others that are above that 28737, and that's not gonna be dynamic data because you can't pull off the average there, but it's gonna give this high priority or low priority. And so that's, keep in mind that is based on the data in the accounts table technically, but we have that lookup record, that way we can see that. And that will be dynamic. So like say for Bennett, Billy Bennett from Wolf Motors, if I add an opportunity, that is for Billy Bennett from, if I add an opportunity for Wolf Motors and I say that estimated value is 50,000 or 500,000 or something like that. And I go back into the contacts and I go to Billy Bennett and now change that to high. And so you can see this is an astronomically high number, but this is actually taking something from two tables ago from a roll up field and now bringing that into this table. So I hope that helps you understand how you can use this dynamic data from different tables and other tables and do like if statements or lookups or rollups or whatever you wanna do. If you have a question on what you can use like this data from other tables for if you have like a specific use case, throw it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. I usually have like a 24 hour response time and I can get back to you and help you out with that question. If you have a bigger problem, then you can request a consultation to speak with me or someone on my team, but also go hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell and keep watching for more Airtable videos.